Fed speak continues to lean dovish post last week's policy decision and rate cut odds for November have ramped up as a consequence. The market is now pricing a 60% chance for a second 50 basis point cut. All of this Fed pricing and repricing has been behind most of what we've seen in markets these past several days with investors feeling good about a relatively upbeat Fed that is it slashing rates aggressively. Currencies have naturally been well bid against the buck as well on what has been a very clear policy divergence. We got another flavor of this earlier today with the Australian dollar pushing fresh yearly highs after the RBA held on rates while maintaining its hawkish stance. Elsewhere, Chinese stocks got a boost after the PBOC made more accommodative gestures, while over in Japan, flash PMIs were pretty much as expected. Looking ahead, key standouts on the calendar for the remainder of the day come from German IFO reads, Canada manufacturing sales, U.S. Case Shiller, U.S. house prices, U.S. consumer confidence, the Richmond Fed manufacturing index, and a Bank of Canada Macklem speech. That's all for now.